child of the 90s, I know girl power. But girl power started long before the Spice Girls. In fact, in 1855, a group of women in Mansfield showed lots of girl power when they enrolled in the Mansfield Female College. It was the first female college west of the Mississippi, with classes in all the traditional fields, but also some unique ones like china painting and penmanship. According to Barbara Valentine, who runs the Manfield Female College Museum, these women were held to a higher standard. All their guests had to be approved by the president of the college, family members as well. And they had to be ladylike at all times. If they didn't do that, they were admonished both privately and publicly. But there's one person who didn't need approval to visit the college. In 1864, during the time of the battles of Mansfield and Pleasant Hill, the college transformed into a hospital for soldiers. One man was hurt and had to have his leg amputated. And they said that he comes back every April the 8th hunting his leg. She's never seen him, but Valentine knows Pegleg keeps her company while she's working. I come in and the bathrooms, the commode seats are up like a man's been and used it. I come in and the shower door's open like somebody's taking a shower and it get the uh, cleaning lady that helps me out said, oh boy, it's really dirty. I said, well, I guess Pegleg had to take a shower <laughs> last night. I can see why Pegleg wouldn't want to leave the museum. Even if he found his leg, it's fabulous. Their original desks that the women used, what they had to wear, even diplomas and class rings. All of this stuff was donated by some family member or somebody that had stuff. You can't put anything in here that's not between the years 1855 and 1930. But luckily, Valentine makes an exception for museum visitors. And that's just another reason I love the Arclitex.